students how are you all welcome in this class students in our previous video we had discussed about the central number system and today we are here to start a new topic that is peripheral nervous system you know that all the nerves of the body together make up the peripheral nervous system that is called the pns and they all enter or leave the central nervous system the three types of nerves which make the peripheral nervous system that are spinal nerve cranial nerve and visceral nerves now spinal nerves they arises from the spinal cord along most of the length of the spinal cord and spread throughout the body except the head now they all carry both sensory and motor neurons described as mixed nerves the here cranial nerves arise from the brain and spread throughout the body here throughout the head and they also carry both sensory and motor neurons the visceral nerves are the special kind of nerves which mostly arise from the spinal cord though some also arise from the brain and they are connected to the internal organs of the body and visceral nerves also carry both sensory and motor neurons now next is autonomic nervous system this autonomic nervous system the term autos means self and nomos means governing so autonomic nervous system means that self governing nervous system the autonomic nervous system is the part of the peripheral nervous system which controls the activity of organs inside our body automatically even without our thinking about them and the autonomic nervous system controls and regulates the functions of the internal organs of our body which are involuntary now voluntary nervous system those actions in which need thinking and which are performed by us knowingly are called the voluntary action for example speaking writing and speaking to a friend a letter dancing cycling kicking a football standing in the room and sitting on a chair are the voluntary actions now the voluntary nervous system helps us take voluntary actions which are under the conscious control of the brain we will now give an example of voluntary actions to understood it so here suppose we are walking down to school at slow pace and after covering some distance we look our watch and find that we are getting late so we start walking very fast why we can do it because of our voluntary nervous system and the follows here following steps will involve there so when our eyes see time on the watch they send the information to the brain through the sensory nerves and then the brain analyzes the information and decides that since there is risk of being late to the school so we should walk faster and third then brain sends the instructions to walk faster to the muscles of our legs and through the motor nerves next the muscles of the legs acts accordingly and make us walk faster now next is this is an example of voluntary action like so there are many examples of voluntary actions and the decision to make this voluntary action has been made by the voluntary nervous system here many examples are written here in figure form which show the different voluntary actions here writing a letter it is a voluntary action and dancing and kicking the football it is also a voluntary action which are performed by us knowingly now 
here test your understanding these questions you will solve with the help of given notes next is keywords and here in keywords stimuli nervous system brain cranium nervous system and cerebral cerebrum neurons dendrites axons about all these things you had studied already now next is exercise so here exercise and question answers you will do it with the help of given notes your chapter is finished thank you thank you everyone